just taking a stroll in my house, but what is that? These are some old lamps here, they doesn't really look too good, but what is this bulb sticking right out? It looks like a massive bulb. Hmm, it's the IKEA something something. I think I will have a better look at this. Okay guys, so this uh, light bulb here is called the IKEA Tostulft or how I would say it, Tostulft. It's a rechargeable uh, standard bulb with uh, I think a E27 socket. So it works in a lot of different lights but as I show you it's a fairly big bulb so it certainly doesn't uh, retrofit into all kinds of uh, uh, b uh, lamps and such and for me I wouldn't really need one of these lamps but I saw actually just searching around a little bit there definitely seems to be a market and people interested in emergency bulbs like this and it would probably be very useful if you live in an um, area a third world, third world, world, world country, where you have a lot of power outages. Uh, I'm just kidding. You have that everywhere in the world, uh, but it really depends on how safe your electricity uh, yeah, sourcing is or how the local infrastructure is. But for me, living here in Norway. In 23 years I have never experienced a power outage. But going into the features, I really think this lamp is really cool. Uh, it is a 400 lumen lamp and you can activate it with uh, just clicking this button. Uh, it's not dimmable, I tested that, so you should keep that in mind uh, in that one lamp that I mounted in where it was sticking out. It wouldn't really uh, dim with the other LED bulbs, so that would be a problem. It's a good thing that if you are in the market for buying a bulb like this, you want to buy a bulb from a bigger manufacturers with the right safety standards and such because otherwise it would maybe be a bigger fire hazard and not do any good because there's always a battery in this that is uh, charging and stuff. So it gives you 400 lumens and uh, if you turn it on by battery it's just 200 lumens. And this light here is 2700 Kelvin so it's a fairly nice and warm light and it doesn't have that that cheap uh, blue uh, color to it. So I was not really interested in this kind of bulb. I just really wanted to see what was on the inside and here you can see uh, when I took it off it got this diffuser which was glued in place it was fairly hard to get off and we can see it's really frosted so it gives a really nice and even light and under there we have the LEDs I'm not sure what kind of LEDs they are, but they seem to be the same kind of LEDs that you found in the uh, new flashlight that they also got. And uh, you have this big aluminium uh, piece here on the underside of the LEDs and also some cooling or paste there, that white paste on the underside there. To transfer the heat from the logic board to this so this keeps the LEDs uh, cool and gives it that long lifetime such which is really important for LEDs. LEDs also get hot they are more efficient than the standard bulbs but they also get hot so you need some cooling if you have higher power LEDs. And on the inside here we have uh, like the drivers and such they also got some coating so uh, they will maybe take some water or uh, moisture to get into it so it will survive that maybe. And inside here you just have where it's coming on from the socket going into this and here you also have the batteries which are 
uh, nickel metal hydrate batteries uh, running at 3.6 volts I would believe if I remember this is just the st standard uh, same kind of batteries that you find in other rechargeable things maybe in the same series as well as the as the ones they sell in the AA form they seem to be the same size but batteries like this from what I know are fairly safe to be charging these kind of batteries you find in a lot of electronic components uh, like <laughs> telephones and such that those wireless telephones that are always on charging and they seem to be safe at least it's not like a lipo battery that can explode at any minute and uh, they seem to die and uh, lose their efficiency after a while but otherwise I think this kind of battery seems to be safe.